Hey everybody, this is Ben here at That Cologne Guy coming at you with a new review. Happy Friday. As you know, this is the channel that welcomes you to your weekend. So I hope you're staying uh, st uh, safe, uh, healthy, and positive. And I hope you have a great weekend. If you're watching this on a day that's not Friday, just remember down here in this cave, it's always Friday at That Cologne Guy. So um, without further ado, let's start. But you're probably thinking I'm going to start by reviewing uh, Sacred by Babylon Fragrances. But before I do, before I do, I have a little surprise for you. And it goes a little something like this. In a world, one man against all odds finally created an intro. All right, what'd you think of that? So, uh, you know, when I first started doing this channel, I used to have uh, heavy metal music, and then I had videos of uh, kind of a collage of me uh, doing some reviews from like the first two or three episodes. Uh, and, and, and all of you guys basically kind of commented and said, uh, yeah, no, you need to stop that. It was like 30 some seconds long, and uh, you said it was too long, and you wanted me to cut to the chase. So I took out the intro, and, uh, but I wanted to come back to a very quick intro. So please let me know in the comment box what you think of either this intro and or others uh, other channels where they have you know ones that you like or don't like do you prefer nothing uh, do you you know just just jump right in or do you kind of like it uh, uh, before I dive into let me just say real quick I want to welcome all the new uh, uh, subscribers we have had yet just again uh, from the last week the last episode uh, we have had an absolute burst of a new subscribers and so welcome aboard welcome to the cologne crew uh and uh make sure you check out my channel i have uh independent reviews of course of uh uh, uh for women amouage for men and i also have the library co collection and then i also have uh tons of others i'm kind of all over the map sometimes i do designer sometimes i do niche um i i enjoy reviewing all different kinds all right, so you guys have seen the title and the uh, description, so you know this is uh, Sacred by Babylon Fragrances, and I will have a picture of that. Uh, now, now, Babylon Fragrances, this one's different because on their own website, they say that this is inspired by uh, another niche fragrance. So we don't even have to worry about whether or not it seems to be a clone. They're already saying that, yeah, yes, it is. It's inspired by. Uh, and so let me see if I can get this tongue twister out. Uh, it is inspired by the fragrance called Baccarat Rouge. And 540. Uh, so Baccarat Rouge 540, and the house is Maison, Maison, Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. So uh, I, per I personally try to avoid that house just because I can't hardly say the name. That is quite a tongue t twister. I wonder what it would sm sound like in French, like Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. Uh, See, everything just sounds better in French. All right, so this is a 2015 Oriental floral release, and uh, they are openly stating that this one is inspired by that. So the original one, the Baccarat Rouge 540, has amberwood, saffron, cedar, ambergris, and jasmine. And what you get here, um, what I got the most of was definitely cedar, jasmine, and saffron. And then, of course, our old friend, uh, whale vomit of ambergris. Now... I will I will say this. Uh, this is another fragrance for me that is hard to describe other than saying it really does smell very pleasant. Now, the first – so the original one is marketed uh, to – it's unisex. I mean they say it's for women and men. Um, I, I have to say I do find this a little bit more masculine. Now, remember, I so I can't compare the, the two because I've never smelled the original, uh, but, but – for me, I, I, I see this as um, perhaps unisex, but I definitely see it leaning more towards the masculine side. So if you guys have tried both, you can let me know what you think. Uh, maybe one is more masculine than the other. Uh, maybe the cedar is turned up here. I'm not sure. But uh, uh, I, 
if I had smelled this and didn't do any background information at all, I probably would not have thought that it was uh, unisex. I would have, you know, felt like it was uh, far enough to the masculine side that I would have thought it was a perom, uh or a uh, for men release. So uh, those are the notes. Now, as far as projection and longevity, actually good news abounds again because uh, the projection is quite good. Uh, projection was a um, rock solid uh, arm's length away. I uh, really like that about this. Uh, in fact, uh, the first time I, I wore this was right after I filmed the last episode. So uh, I filmed the last episode. Uh, you might recall from that one, I barely, barely, barely had a, enough uh, juice to get through that episode. Uh, same here, actually. Um, um, and then, which is a good sign because it tells you I like it, um, I thought, you know, I'm really curious about this next one. So I sprayed it down here. And then I, about an hour later, I came back down and the, the room still smelled like it. And that was after one spray. So the projection is really, really good. And uh, and longevity longevity was a, was, a, was, a, was a definite six to eight. So you will definitely get a work shift. Definitely, clo in fact, closer to eight. Um, you know, many of you pointed out that the longevity and projection um, projection might be affected a little bit by the uh, the fact that I'm using a sample bottle and not an actual bottle even even with this little guy and hardly anything left you can see here look that's just practically bone dry um, I uh, still got a uh, great longevity and great projection um, and I'm sure that's probably uh, like the original now this is so this is I got to get this right this is a per perfume extract it says on the bottle uh, and then in French it was listed as an extrait de parfum so i got a little i got in trouble with my terre de mes review you guys might remember i got a little slap on the wrist from a couple of you and rightfully so because i, I got mixed up on the edt then there's edp so the eau de parfum and then after that there's another level which is parfum and uh this so this is listed as a perfume extract or an extrait de parfum and it is, of course, a higher concentration than an EDP. And uh, uh, I, I wanted to make note of that. So this is uh, 47 bucks on their website for a 30 milliliter. So uh, slightly cheaper than the niche uh, release, of course, uh, that you would get through Maison Francis Coeur de Jean. So again, I've already mentioned that this is uh, the original was a unisex release, um, and then I would put this if on my continuum of feminine, unisex, and then masculine. I would say this is in between unisex and then all the way over to masculine. Be some somewhere in between. I find it. I find it quite masculine. I really do. I like the the cedar and. Um, Again, if I hadn't looked, if it were a true first impressions where I didn't know anything about this fragrance, uh, I would say that it was a masculine release. So I have a feeling that the target audience, the people actually wearing this, will probably be about a probably about a 60-40 split would be slightly more guys wearing this. Again, with the ambergris, the saffron, the saffron and the jasmine, I mean, uh, a, a woman could easily pull this off. It really is just a genuinely pleasant scent. But if I had to say it, I'd say slightly more masculine. Now, when it comes to age group, uh, this one does have kind of a, it has kind of a, for me, you know, for me, it kind of has like a, a, a night out uh, feel to it. So I, I can see, I can see college and up. I mean, I, I definitely w could think, uh, yep, eight, 18 and up on this one. This one is another fragrance that smells incredibly pleasant and almost does, uh, transcends, uh, age. And so, uh, I, I, I would put this as 18 and up uh, for for either gender, uh, but I have a feeling that probably eh, probably you know 30 and up is probably what uh, most people will have only because. Only because, again, they're going to know that it's a clone of niche. And, you know, when you're in college, most people can't afford niche. So, you know, uh, the actual people wearing this are probably going to be 30 and up. But there's nothing to suggest that this is a, a really mature uh, scent. So college could definitely uh, pull this off. I don't think you'll see uh, high schoolers uh, wearing this one too much, though. Uh, so, well, we'll say 18 and up. All right, so that's the gender and that's the age group. You know, now, again, when it comes to season, here's another one that was a little bit difficult because it really smells nice. And I like that the cedar kicks in. Uh, there's the saffron and the jasmine and the ambergris. I... <laughs> I mean, if I had, if I absolutely had to, I think because of the the green feel to it, the woodsy, 
I mean, it's an oriental floral, though. I would have to say my opinion would be spring, but uh, bottom line is uh, all four seasons this would work. I don't see this being too cloying in the hot weather. In fact, I know it's not because I'm wearing it in the hot weather, and I also see this. I think I think there's enough woods there um, that it would work quite well in the winter. So I'm going to say all four seasons, really. If you If you really wanted only one season, I would go spring. So um, in, in the same thing, I, I, it's a pleasant scent, but because it projects so well, you could wear this to the office, but I'd be really, I'd go easy on the trigger for this. Um, I, I would wear this to an office unless you're in an enclosed area. So if you really are in a small uh, area at your office, I'd, I'd be careful with this one. It smells pleasant, but it, and it's kind of a crowd pleaser, but I, it does have a, a, a strong smell and a specific smell that some people might not like, especially people who don't like fragrances at all. And so uh, I, I would wear this to work. I would prefer to wear this at night, though. To me, this is more of an of a after shift scent, you know, where you're, you're doing the happy hour, you're going out to eat, going out for a, a date night out, uh, clubs. Uh, it's 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 highly highly versatile. So uh, I, again, uh, I think I looked on the Baccarat Rouge 540, and 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 more people said day for them than night. But you know what? For this clone, uh, I would I would wear this more at night. All right, guys, there you have it. That is Sacred by Babylon Fragrances. Um, a hidden gem, really, and I have used a lot of it this week, and I am looking forward, I am looking forward to getting my hands on a bottle of this. Uh, I have, this is my first Babylon Fragrances, and I have a few more coming up. So again, thank you so much, Wes. Uh, Wes is a subscriber and friend who sends me a box every year of uh, samples. Uh, and his, I will put the in the description box his business down below. Um, he, he makes and sells uh, musky bait. So if you are a fisherman, uh, please check out his site because he is an inc incredibly artistic uh, in what he does. Man, that guy's gifted. And so uh, thanks again, Wes. I really appreciate it. This is my first episode with Babylon Fragrances, and the next few will be uh, the same house. So I'm going to enjoy that because this one was uh, really fantastic. Now, you guys know I'm going to – I'll cue the boo because you guys know that when I get a clone – uh, or especially a clone house even, um, I, 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 I kind of refuse to give them a 5 out of 5 spray. So this is your first time with my channel. Um, every episode I, I, I spray the exact number of sprays that I give out of 5 uh, on me at the end. Um, I don't think a, a clone can really oh, – I know you guys disagree. I don't think a clone can truly get – five out of five because they are riding the coattails of the artistic expression of another company that's how i feel um you can the counter argument is like would you really know this is a clone though if you just smelled this what would it be i totally understand that but uh you know that's that's just not fair right that's kind of a copy and paste issue there so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go four out of five i really really like this one I would like to have it, and I, I, I'd be very curious if I could get a sample of the Baccarat Rouge 540. I would love uh, to smell that. Um, but this is very pleasant. Uh, love, I really, I really appreciate the cedar because it, it's an oriental floral, like I said, but right, right when the jasmine and the saffron you think are really going to take over, um, it kind of takes a turn and goes uh, more with, with cedar and the ambergris. So, uh Kudos to them. Very good release. Really enjoyed it this week. Four out of five sprays. Here we go. I'm going to go one on each wrist and one on each side of the neck. Boom. 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 Well, I have enough. Man, that smells good. Boom. Ooh, I just, I barely, barely felt a little tiny trickle you know in fact i think i've got here all right so we're gonna go one for you guys just in case i'll reserve this one just like i did last time if you truly feel like you know what stop with your whole cloning thing and just go by the absolute smell then here look i'll give you one okay there you go that is the end of the road my friends one spray for you just because 
I love you. All right, so there you have it, folks. Another episode by the boards. I really had fun with this one. Uh, thanks so much for watching. And uh, just a quick note to say that uh, today is my grandmother's uh, heavenly birthday. So uh, uh, August 28th, happy heavenly birthday to you, Grandma. Uh, we sure miss you a lot. And always remember, folks, fragrance marks the celebration of today. Take care, everybody. Um, it lately with the quarantine situation that's still going on, uh, I have to record whenever I get a chance. And so I am down here late at night yet again, because, uh, well, I absolutely enjoy it. And this is the only time I can really, uh, record. So you have to forgive the kind of, uh, down in the cave look. Speaking of looks too, you'll notice after 14 years, my Zennheisers broke. And so my, uh, my headphones that I love so much, uh, finally bit the dust. Um, and so I will be getting new Zennheisers soon. So you'll again, forgive the early 2000s, uh, look here. Like I'm you know, just went out for a, a jog or something. Uh, it feels kind of odd, but uh, I will be getting my new gear soon.